Hi, I'm Lucia Lloyd, the incumbent at St. John's Anglican Church in Bowmanville. We wanted to create a labyrinth on the lawn outside our church as a way of using our space to invite not only our parishioners, but everyone in our neighborhood to come and experience an opportunity for prayer and meditation. This summer, while I was away on a silent retreat at the Ignatius Jesuit Retreat Center in Guelph, thank you Bishop Andrew for the mini sabbatical, I discovered a labyrinth there that was made out of grass of two different heights, with the path through the labyrinth being trimmed to a shorter height than the surrounding grass. And I love the idea of a labyrinth that could be made of all natural materials and that could be done without spending money or doing a lot of planning. Hello, I'm Kathy McCabe, the, ch the incumbents warden here at St. John's. And when we wanted to create our labyrinth, we looked online to look at different uh, patterns for labyrinths and found one that we liked, which is the center labyrinth of the huge labyrinth in Chart Cathedral. Um, online from small lab labyrinths you can make at home, we found, I found a download of Karen's small labyrinths page and uh, we used this as our pattern. As you can see, we found the center point on our hill and then used a measuring tape and a rope and a spray can to spray paint the actual boundaries of the labyrinth on the grass. Um, and Lucia did all of that for us. Um, and after that, between the boundaries, we used a whippersnipper to, to cut away the path of the labyrinth and we left the um, boundaries with long grass. It's been a wonderful experience for us here at St. John's. I read with interest Reverend Lucia's email about building a labyrinth in the uh, yard beside the church. I decided that I, because I was going to a meeting, that this would be a good time for me to take the opportunity to walk the labyrinth and I followed the instructions that Reverend Lucia included, and that was just to say a quiet prayer and then just walk and listen. So I did that, and then I went to my meeting, and it was successful because I felt that I had God with me and Jesus holding my hand. What struck me as I walked the labyrinth was the need to concentrate on the journey. Immediately in front of me, the path was clearly defined, and yet I couldn't look too far ahead as the path seemed to disappear. There were more twists and turns than I expected, but the center was always visible and constant. Seems to me this is very much like our spiritual journey. You can't see too far ahead, it can change unexpectedly, but God is always there at the center of everything. Here's some of the things that people who have walked the labyrinth have said. From Vivian. As the labyrinth is on our walk home from school, our kindergarten children have had the opportunity to walk the path of prayer and begin to listen for the voice of God. I too, with an eye on the children, Speak to him with thanksgiving in my heart. I pray the labyrinth provides a place of peace as we speak to the Father. From Sheila. Rushing from one errand to the next, the labyrinth beckoned me from the church parking lot. Everything slowed down as I set out on the path. Such a welcome slowdown I didn't recognize I needed. I breathed in deeply and felt refreshed almost immediately. The wind and leaves and birds surrounded me with soothing sounds. I thanked God for the peace I felt and for the beauty around me. I hope I can avail myself of this special place all year round. Thank you, St. John's, for this place of peace where one can get in touch with God, Mother Nature, and oneself. 
We invite other churches in the diocese to try labyrinths for yourself, and we hope you enjoy this video.